Hello my convicts and convict cats, just a design to cup convict bringing you guys and gals some more hyperscape. So here we go. So it is pre-recorded, as you all know, because it's with Rio being here. But uh hey ho. We're trying our best, yeah. So we've got Slam and Ball. These are the two I kinda like enjoy rocking with. Uh this is the first time using the Harpy. I've not used it as much. And I've also got my grenade launcher. The Komodo, I think it's called. Or Komod, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is. Now, I've not used the shotgun as much. I'm, I might actually try using the shotguns more often because they're actually pretty decent. So here we go. So I can hear people around me. Like, well, I'm just going to break this and see if there's anything I can upgrade straight off the bat. It's always good for the crates because sometimes you'll find gold items in them. And obviously, that means that they're leveled up to the max. And always be on the lookout for anything that you can fuse like this and that will increase mag size. And just run around and try and find people and it's like okay there's one dude here. It's like where is he going? Is he going up there or what's he doing? Let's try and slam him. A slam will hurt him if in fact a slam next to him within that sort of circle that he saw there. If it is within that circle it will hurt him and do damage. So I can hear windows breaking everywhere, I just can't see anyone, so where? It's like, okay, here's my first vic victim. Bouncing away in his ball. I'm like, no, come here, get out of the ball. Don't be shy. And he dropped down here, I'm like, right, you're dead now, buddy. I'm gonna get you now. And we're gonna go in for the slam. Boom! And there you go, just need to finish him off. And there we have it. And fuse the ball he's got now. And there we go. So our first victim down. So I've been looking into like the controls. I really want Hyperscape to add in some form of advanced look controls. There's a weird thing going on with the aiming at the moment. Especially with just the normal X and Y with the pitch and yaw. Where it has a weird jump. When you get when you pull your trigger to the right and you get to about halfway, you'll notice it'll like jump, like as if there's a bubble there, and it'll go Whoop! for some weird reason. I don't know what it is. It's something to do either with response curve or something of those of that nature, because it's not the dead zone. Because obviously you can control dead zones. So it's to do with the the delay. Or there's acceleration, or it's a response curve. It's one of them. So I'm hoping that they give us more features to be able to deal with that. Because at the moment, I find my aiming really, really odd when you're trying to hip fire. When you're aiming, it seems fine. It's just the hip firing, which is the harder one to do at the moment. So I'm just trying to figure out where all these people are. Right, okay, where's more people? So, okay, there's a dude over here. Kind of pointless using the SMG for that, but hey ho! <laughs> I don't know. I could still see his red tag there. It was kind of weird that you could see his like where he was inside the building. I'm guessing when you go into certain buildings, maybe it does it there. I don't know. So I've increased mag size once again on the harpy. Fifty contenders on the board. Okay. Fuse the ball. I'm like, do I, do I want to keep this grenade launcher? Because I couldn't find it to upgrade it. I wasn't finding any upgrades for it. I was like, okay, you're going to do that. I'm going to slam you, buddy. I was like, where'd it go? It's invisible. And there you go. You're out of here, buddy. Get out of here with your invisibility. Rubbish. So just trying to see if I can find any more upgrades. You definitely want to keep always trying to upgrade your weapon at all times. So at this point I'm like, I'm not finding that rocket launching gun for some reason. So I did decide to go with the mammoth and see if I could upgrade that because Obviously, the, the point of the game is to upgrade because the more you upgrade your weapon, the more better it is 
for mag size, for damage, range, and all that kind of good stuff. So you want to keep upgrading. And then I saw this, I was like, oh, dragonfly. I did look at it and was like, um, semi-automatic rifle, it was gold. I was like, oh, mm, go on then, we'll, we'll give it a try. Not particularly great with like snipers or anything, which is kind of what I thought, but it's more like a marksman's rifle, the way it kind of plays. So just making sure I've got all the ammo, I thought that was the doorway you could go in, but obviously it's not. Bounce on top here, it's like, okay, well I know someone's close. In a moment I do meet someone who was actually pretty good. He was a good player, he was a pretty, pretty accurate player, so uh, it, it was a bit of a challenge. It's this one, this guy here, I believe, and he was good, he was a good player. I was like, oh god, okay. Like, uh, where is it? And then he hit me quite hard, I was like, oh god, I'm gonna die. And that's the, the mammoth shotgun. So I'm like, no, it's time to get out of here. Let's go. And he did hit me a couple of times, like, oh god, I'm gonna die here. I'm like, where's he gone? And he gone in the air then, and then I used my other slam to get myself away. I'm like, oof, so close to dying there. But he, he was a pretty decent player. So I'm just waiting for my abilities to recharge up. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go on rooftop again. Try and find this guy again, because I want to kill him. I want to obviously challenge him and see if we can win him, at least. Because he's a decent player. And then I heard someone who's like, aha! I don't know if this was the same guy or not, but... I'm like, is it going to come out? Is it going to stay in there? And then they did come out. And he ran back in and was like, okay, well, I'm going to have to chase him because he's not going to obviously play ball. And I didn't see him at first there. Great sneaky little shy hiding in the corner. So as you can see, I'm being a bit careful because I was sure this was the same dude I took on before. I'm like, I'm going to be him, surely. And then there he is again. It's like, okay. And... Almost dead, and there we go. That was so close. But like I said, he was a good player. He was, he was decent. I was just very lucky I could obviously outbeat him there. It was that invisibility that kept throwing me out. Throwing me out. I might start using that more often because that invisibility seems to be pretty, pretty good. For tricking people. I'm like, okay, let's just get on top of the building. I can see someone with a ball there. So the aim of the game for me was to try and kill as many people as I could find. I do hear someone in a moment that sounded like he was above. Which I really like that sound. Listen to it. That sounded like a like a rooftop tile. So that is what obviously helped me to find where it was. So I was like, oh okay. And this guy's got slam as well, as you can hear. I'm like well, I'm gonna slam him. I'm like, okay, where did he go? And then I thought we may have got down. And I've decked out my slam here. And I did hear someone slamming, but I didn't know where it was. I was like, oh, okay, it's here. I'm like, that's not good. Let me get off here. I'm like, right, I'm going to slam him now. I managed to hit him. Oh, sorry about that. As you probably could hear the doorbell there. So, again, with the slams. But luckily, because I've got the other, the other use of slam, or what we call it, I can't remember what we call it, the, the full version of slam, I could slam me really fast, constantly. But <laughs> obviously, you can see we're both in balls here. I'm like, um, 
Do I get out or do I not? And I was like, no, nah, I'll it. I'm just going to go because he's just going to keep on hiding and doing that till uh, obviously we uh, one of us dies. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Don't know what the player was there, but I'll try to chase this guy as well instead. A little bit more fun. And someone was chewing near me. Luckily, he didn't hit me, I don't think. And I'm just trying to figure out where this other guy had gone. I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to wait here because surely someone's going to come out in a moment. And there's only nine players left, as you can see. So I might as well wait and see what we can do once he comes out. So trying to be patient here. We have our top eight contenders. So I'm just looking around and I thought, well, I'm just going to wait here. Just figure out where the next zone is going to be and then obviously we can plan where we need to be and hopefully get that win in because we are so close to winning. I don't want to obviously waste that time in trying to just chase people, especially when there's just some people left. So this point is like, okay, well, I'm going to go in and see what we can do. I don't want to just stand here and do nothing all day long. And as you can see, we've got the overfuse to the slam, but we've got full slam anyway. And then I heard someone, it's like, surely that's here. I think it's up top. So I'm just trying to find out, and then I've got my full version of the happy now. I'm like, right, let me just shoot this guy a little bit. Try and use the maximum rifle, which I've not used before. Not very good with that one. And then there was tons of people I'm like, oh god, I'm getting out of here. I'm, I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> I'm not staying here. It's a little bit too chaotic in there. And then I saw this guy. I was like, okay, well, this is my time to shine, if any. And then I saw this guy. I was like, oh god, there's a guy here as well. Let me slam him. And then the crown was about to come into the game. Now let me know what you think about the crown. I'm going to tell you what I think about it in a moment. Once this game ends. But having a crown that appears and then you've all got to go and try and grab and secure and keep the crown as long as possible. So someone's got a crown. It's like, okay, let me quickly try and slam him. Just not as far as I wanted to be, but hey ho. So he's dropped the crown and that means obviously gives us a chance now to quickly try and grab it if we can. And then I saw this guy. Oh god, there's another guy here. Now I think at this point, to be honest, it's better just to go for the crown wearer as such. So we've got 20, just under 20 seconds left. And tried to slam him but just missed him again. Shooting him now. Got 13 seconds left. And slam. 6 seconds, 5 seconds. Let's see, everyone's trying their best to get him. And there we go, he wins. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think of a crown? Me, personally, I don't think it should be in the game. I think it ruins the game, and it's a very cheesy way of winning. Anyway, you know what it is, it is Adicap Convict standing out, and as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts, and I'll see you soon in another gameplay. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and you know who it is, it is Adicap Convict signing out, and I salute you, and I'll see you soon in some more gameplays. Hopefully enjoyed and bye for now.